Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Amy the Kelly Texan and we're back with a little mini haul. This is a thrift store haul and it's just a few items I'd like to share with you guys. It's from this little thrift store here in Conroe. It's called Assistance League and it's ran by all these elder seniors that go and volunteer. Really cute store. Sometimes you find really cute stuff. Sometimes it's a little bit expensive. Hold on real quick. Sorry about that. Um, got a little phone call from a number I didn't know, and I went ahead and answered it, and yeah, I didn't know them. Sorry about all this, guys. I gotta get my hair done. It's like growing in there, but it's okay. It's fine. Uh, let me jump right in. So I did find, I snagged two of these. Whenever I find Diary of the Wimpy Kid books, the hardbacks, I always grab them if they're a good price. This is the Diary of the Wimpy Kid Dog Days. Now we do have like a good little collection going on at home. So I try to find ones that we don't have. And this yellow one, book number four, we do not have. So there was two of them. I grabbed two. Now the kids' books are two for a dollar. The hardback books, however, are one dollar. So she rang it up, but I told her, Diary of the Wimpy Kid is a child's book. It's a kid's book. I don't know any adults that read Diary of the Wimpy Kid for joy. Um, they may read it to their kids or with their kids, but I don't typically think adults grab this for their own enjoyment. I could be wrong, but in my opinion, this is still a kid's book. So I asked her and she checked and she said, yeah. So I got both of these, two of them, for $1. Now, I will give the kids one for their collection, and then I will either list the other one on eBay or send it to my niece and nephew. I'm not sure, but I always scoop these up. So two for a dollar, not bad. And they're in good condition, too. So next up, I've been having really good luck with the cases at this particular thrift store. They're usually one or two dollars, and then I sell them on eBay between nine and twelve dollars. So it's a pretty good flip. This one, it's a little worn out, but you could still see it. it's the name Betsy Johnson. So I mean, there's a little bit of a a scratch right here if you look closely, and it's a little bit worn out, but it's still in good condition and it's super cute. It's like a big chunky one. Super cute Betsy. She, I like her stuff. I think her stuff is really pretty. So inside, it's like very good condition, nice and black. And then her name is really clear here at the top in the gold print. So Betsy Johnson, and I paid $2 for her. And then, yeah, I'm gonna list this on eBay. Probably $12, let's see how we do that. Now, okay. Last time I found these Ray-Bans. Now, I mean, they're a little bit scratched now because I've dropped them. You see that little scratches up there? But these Ray-Bans I got last time were $4. So I was super excited to find, and then it has like this print inside, to find a second pair this time around of Ray-Bans. And these are not scratched. And these I bought for myself, but I'm sure I could flip them online for a good profit. These were $6. And they're like the tortoise shell. Super clean glasses. Check it out, look. So I like these for me. I'm gonna keep these for me. Um, I mean, these, these are still good too, but they do have like some scratches on them. But they are rebounds, so $4 and six dollars so i was super excited about that that was like the thrill of my scores okay and then i always check the mugs there because i usually find good starbucks mugs um, or other mugs that i sell online and i found two from the same i don't know if you call it company or artist or whoever designed these cups but both of them are from England, made in England, and it's by Johnson Bros. So Johnson Bros. 
I don't know if they if they're artists or if they're a company I'm not sure but they have like a whole line I looked them up on eBay so this one is sportsman the angler and it's ironstone it's not ceramic it's ironstone so this one the guy is fishing he's got his fishing basket his fishing pole um, he caught a fish so the colors kind of overlap each other and some of it's like black and white some of specific things like his baskets painted yellow the fish is red I thought that was just like a red mark on there but that's just the style of the cup so I got this one. Oh, and then on this side is like a picture of the basket the fishing baskets and the pole by the river super pretty cup now inside it, it is like a little discolored. It's not like nice and white, but there's no chips, no cracks, and it's a good mug. It looks dirty, but I don't think it is dirty. But I don't know if this is from like it being used or worn. Do you see like there's like little lines? You see that? So, excuse my nails. My nails are a mess right now, guys. You see the little lines? So I only paid $1 for it. But I think someone might collect these or it might be part of a set. And I'm going to list them as a pair on eBay for $20. So I paid $1 for this and $1 for this. They're both made in England, so that's great. This one... Okay, so they're both the sportsmen. This is the hunter, this is the angler. So again, it's ironstone and it's made in England and it's by Johnson Bros. So let's look at this one. This one, you see the two ducks, the hound. This is like that game, you guys ever play that game called Duck Hunt back in the day? Where you have the gun and then you have to shoot the TV as the ducks fly, like that, that game was so much fun. Uh, that's what that reminds me of right there. So, I mean, it's very detailed. Yeah, that's the dog. He's got his little bag right here. I don't know what these are laying on top of the, do the dog. If those are like skins or ducks he's already got. I'm not sure what that part is, but yeah, super cool. So this one, there's no color. It's just black and white. And then this side has the rifle and a trap and like a little bag. So again, this one's $1. So I'm going to try to sell them both on eBay for $20 and make an $18 profit on the two mugs. Not bad. And then they always have like these dollar bins for the t-shirts. And I usually scope them out to see if there's anything I can sell or anything for me or the kids. So I found this one. Oh, whew. I did not smell it earlier. It has like a strong cologne on the shirt. I'm gonna have to wash the shirt. But it's like a vintage Astro shirt. I'm not an Astros fan at all. But here in Texas, everybody, like, they love the Astros. So, um, it is, like, licensed. It is genuine merchandise. It's a small, like, a men's small. And it's, yeah, that's, like, I don't know if they call that the Astrodome or what that is, but... It's a vintage baseball t-shirt. It is a very soft material. Um, I, I like this, these vintage t-shirts. The material is like always really soft. Let's see if there's a year on here. Well, I'm not really sure, but I think this was a dollar. I think I could probably get 10, maybe $12 for it. Not bad. Baseball season just started too, so I'm sure it should so quickly. Mm, 
I don't see a year. No, I don't know what year it is, but it's not like a newer t-shirt or design. So that is pretty cool. Again, $1 in those dollar bins. I do need to wash it though because it has a very strong smell. This one I got for me. I had to do some research. Um, I mean, I didn't get it particularly because I like the bear or... I had to figure it out. I had to research and look it up online. It's actually the Baylor Bears. It's a college. Um, I mean, I don't really care for the bears or the design, but I do like these, like this material. It's very soft and, you know, to wear around the house or where you're working out or doing errands. So it's, um, it's by a brand called Barefoot Campus Outfitter original and authentic and yeah like I said it's the Baylor Bears Illumini I might keep it but it is like a little worn out right here on the bear I gotta wash this too I don't know if this has its own clone or if it's mixing in the bag with that one but now they both smell but anyways um yeah I might just keep it to wear around the house or like pajamas or I might list it on eBay. I don't know yet. I guess we'll see. This was also $1 though. And that is it, guys. That's all I got the other day. Um, my total, I believe, was like $14, which is not bad because I did get two hardcover books, two mugs made in England, two t-shirts, a pair of Ray-Bans, and the case. So I got eight items for $14. It's pretty good. All right, guys, that is it. I will see you soon. Have a good day. What's up, Tommy Tenth and I love you.